first of all, uh, you're given an opportunity to present the industrial scenario about the skilling conditions in Indian market. Let me introduce the topic regarding particularly for the pharma industry. Pharma industry is really, really struggling to get a skilled manpower as they don't have the infrastructure or time to start imparting trainings on a regular basis. They always prefer to have a ready-made candidate who can come and deliver the goods to them. While as if we talk of the institutes, they are more in focusing on the academic part and uh, they are not able to communicate properly what industry is looking for and how to prepare those students from the industrial perspective. This has resulted in imbalance. On one side, industry is struggling to get good manpower and on the other side, the students are not able to get a job and huge unemployment is being created. The data was shared in the parliament in last sessions where uh, it was a maximum unemployment rate at present. Irrespective that the Indian economy, which is at a growing phase, targeting for the uh, five trillion uh, dollar economy, looking for enhancing their manufacturing segment or service industry, this is only possible when we have a very skilled manpower available in India. To counter this such type of uh, market needs or imbalance between demand and supply of skilled manpower, Government of India has come out through their flagship project of Pradhan Mantri Koshal Vikas Yojana, through which they have targeted to train or skill the manpower students from the college level itself, prepare them from the industry point of view, so that the student is able to join the industry and perform in a better way. They have appointed the different training partners. Their job is to impart such trainings to the students. The training partner will have to uh, educate all student and uh, teaching fraternity about the need of skilling and providing the skilling as per the industry needs. Indirectly, the training partners will bridge the gap between industry and institutes. Now, Innova Education is one of such training partners appointed and accredited by Skill India program through their Sector Skill Council for Pharma and Biopharma Industries Life Sciences Sector Skill Council. The objective of the Life Skill Sector Development Council is to develop a curriculum which they have done for around 61 identified job roles with all the details. Innova Educational is given the responsibility to train the students who wish to join a pharma industry in the QC department or in the production department. Innova Educational have developed a good infrastructure as per the guidelines of the Skill India programs which has been audited by the Skill India team and the infrastructure for two job roles is fully equipped. Innova Educational has been given responsibility to train at presently with the QC, any person for the quality control department as the posts normally are quality control chemist, whether it is analytical or microbiological or to support structure like lab technician. For production department, we have job roles like machine level operators, production supervisors, production chemists. So in Innova Education is well equipped to train such type of job roles. Innova has developed a very good infrastructure for training the quality control professionals. From lab analytical segment, we have all type of equipments like HPLC, UPLC, GC, UV, uh, visible spectrophotometers, auto titrators, Carl Fisher's, polarimeter, viscosity meter, many more, resolution apparatus and others. And for microbiological, it is colony counters, autoclaves, incubators, etc., which is needed for anyone uh, who wanted to join the microbiological departments. For production departments, Life Sciences have developed the simulating software and Innova Lab Innova Educational are using the simulating software along with virtual reality as well as the augmented reality which is the training tools for future. Production department, the virtual reality is basically having a three-dimensional uh, gaming console type with software, three-dimensional software for all the machineries, whether it is for API or it is for the formulations like solid dosage, liquid dosage, injectables, etc. 
all the candidates will be made to work on this virtual reality modules wherein they can multiple times work learn the things the beauty is that while working in the lab they still feel that in the manufacturing segment and they are working on the machinery the way in real life they will do on the by using their hands in virtual the advantage is no machine is remain engaged for training as there is no physically any real machine it is through the software a trainer can reuse work re try it multiple times so that he gets a complete complete information about working of any machine the advantage second advantage is during this training neither operator nor machine nor product will have any danger because there is no physically existence of machine but still the people will have a better idea about how it works so no losses to anyone only the gains in the learning process so this is about the uh, virtual reality in augmented reality you will use a gaming console and you will dismantle the machines you will assemble the machines you will do the simulations how it works and all those things so that technology will help a student to learn understand more about the production areas than in the real life if they go in a manufacturing segment so this is very important and now it is in high demand lot of industries have already implemented the vr ar modules and they have increased better productivity less rejections less maintenance cost less rejections so this is what we are planning to do in this segment for quality control labs all type of equipment is the training is done in the four phases the first phase is introduction about the industry different job roles roles and responsibilities of each job role in industries then development of their soft skills so that they will be taking the responsibilities on a serious note and give the better results plus all the students will be trained about the glp gmp gdp then uh, other documentation process like dq iq oq pq and sops will also be developed by these students which is a need for the industry because quality control chemists just does not uh, follow or uh, do their job to testing of the samples but they develop the sops for almost all the segments in the industry as far as this quality control chemistry is concerned the minimum education qualification should be bsc MSc chemistry or bio or B pharma M pharma and for lab technician it is 10 plus 2 or diploma holder in pharmacy D pharma for production chemists it can be B pharma or M pharma to be selected as a production chemist so this is the requirements of the educational qualifications that normal trainings as per this life sciences sector skill council or skill india programs is defined as per some particular hours like for qc the training period is around 540 hours and for production department it is 470 hours which with 8 hours daily will take around 3 2 to 4 months at an average for completing the training and no educational will take the responsibility of training of such students and then placing them within the industry within 3 months from the date they complete their training program and or the day they will get the certifications from skill india or life sciences sector skill council any candidate if innova is not able to place them within 3 months all the fee collected from the students will be repaid back without asking any question innova educational training center is situated in dehradun it is near to it park on the sahasdara road and people can contact our center any time all the students are interested can visit our center with prayer intimation to have a first hand information about the training center innova education can provide day scholar training program or residential program we have the hostel facilities to accommodate 100 students at any point of time the students will be provided a Uh, hostel facility along with all the mess arrangements fooding etc for during the period they wanted to stay innova education and pharma states are working together and for any candidates wishing to know more they can contact the pharma state team to understand and know about the training programs so this is the plan policy of innova education under skill india programs for skilling the students wishing to join the pharma industry thank you